right, hello, good morning. So it is uh, April 7th, 11:19 a.m. Uh, sadly, this is a relatively early morning for me. Miss Rona has got my sleep schedule all sorts of fucked up. Going to bed at like 3 a.m., waking up at like noon, just really not great. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to try to do a vlog today, partially to create something and hopefully get my mind off of being quarantined and uh, the world being on fire and all the crazy shit that's happening right now. And also just to share what I've been working on. I know you're not supposed to touch your face, but like, it's so hard not to. Okay, let me show you what I've been up to. Okay, so what I've been working on is a new template, a new Webflow template. Uh, called Mac. So it's called Mac partially because my name's McKinsey and also partially because it's inspired by uh, the old Mac OS. So I wanted this design to feel very retro and very old school, very browsery and computery. So this is what I ended up landing on. You can like scroll through and then has the projects that goes horizontally. Um, then this from the blog section where you can click on the different blog posts and they'll pop to the front like it would on a, a computer. So the entire design is grayscale and I tried to inject some like happy vibes into it through the illustrations but I've been trying to add like a lot of fun unique elements to this. So for example I got a custom cursor on here uh, that matches the main uh, header illustration and then when you hover over a link that changes to the little pointer guy uh, Let's see. I have a custom Scroll bar that matches the design and then I made this guy's eye follow the mouse as you uh, Move around the projects go to uh, a horizontal scroll uh, Using Webflow's interactions and then this section uses just a little bit of jQuery to bump up the Z index to bring uh, these modals to the front as you click on them. Uh, these are actually pulling from the CMS. I need to actually do the same for the projects still. So still a lot of work to do, but I am going to be releasing this as a free clonable. So if you want to use it for your portfolio or your blog, uh, you can do that. So this was originally uh, the design for my personal website. So this is what my new website looks like. I decided to switch it up and um, I wanted it to have a bit more color, a bit more illustration-y vibes in there. So I ended up changing it to this, but uh, this Mac template, I am really happy with how it turned out uh, design-wise. So um, I still wanted it to, to live on. So there's still quite a bit to do on this. Um, I need to finish setting up all the various pages and the CMS for the projects and such. Um, I want to add like an about page and a contact page. I'm also planning on creating a course on how I built this whole design. So I also need a page or at least a, a section at the very least that um, highlights that. Uh, so there's still a lot of like things I need to clean up on this, but overall it's really coming along. Mm. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna get back to it. gonna end it right here. Um, if you want to check out the template, uh, you can see it at uh, mac-template.webflow.io. Please keep in mind it's still very rough and needs a lot of work, so don't judge it too harshly. Uh, but if you want to go poke around and play with it, uh, you can check it out there. 
and yeah, I'm hoping to have this all finished and wrapped up and uh, live in the Webflow showcase uh, later this week if you want to clone it and use it yourself. But yeah, that is all for this one. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.